Hey everybody, this is Alchemisted, and this is once again Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt. Last time we met Miral Paris, and this time we're going to be dealing with some Ferengi in War is Good for Business. That's a rule of acquisition. I don't I don't know. I haven't memorized. I would be a terrible Ferengi. I haven't memorized the uh, rules of acquisition. But uh, there are a number of... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 147, because the number 47 pops up everywhere in Trek. Uh, 147 rules uh, that uh, Ferengi are culture culturally follow, such as war is good for business, and uh, peace is good for business, and every once in a while, declare peace. It confuses the hell out of your enemies. I really like that one. Um, and, like, I used to have, I, I think I have an old issue of, like, Star Trek the Magazine somewhere around here that lists them all off. But, <clears throat> anyways... The USS Shikar is experiencing intermittent power failures. There is little threat to the safety of the ship, but they do have a scientific team on board that is conducting a time-sensitive survey of anomalies in the area. Captain Tavana has requested that another ship rendezvous with the Shikar. See what you can do to help them. And your awards are Impulse Engines. Now, I am strongly, strongly, as a general rule, in favor of combat impulse engines. This means that I don't have that I can devote power to shields or weapons or auxiliary, and I don't have to devote so much power to engines because at lower power levels you are going to get bonus energy, and that is far more vital. That's that's far more vi vital. Uh, let's see. efficient at low power levels. That means you go faster at low power with combat impulse engines. You actually gain speed. So these... And to be honest, they're kind of similar anyways. Like like regular impulse engines, you'll start the game with them, but after you get, you know, after you get the option of hyper or combat, combat. Just go, unless you're, unless you're an escort and thrive on maneuverability, and survive on maneuverability, combat. Signs and cruisers, combat's the way to go. Let's go ahead and accept it. And, uh, let's depart. We shouldn't be too far. We are still in orbit over, uh, the regular system. From the previous uh, mission, the Kuba Mach, and I still haven't watched the Voyager episode yet, so I don't, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. I'll have to go back and watch uh, sometime later, but I am not recording something. Uh, let's see. Zenic Celes. I believe it's Celes. I think that's where we're going. It's right. It's 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 a it's just a hop over too. So hit the T button. Just go. Light cruiser. That's actually a Shikar light cruiser. So the uh, the uh, Shikar is one of the various light cruiser variants. You have the Miranda, the Shikar, and the Centaur. The Miranda was introduced in Wrath of Khan. You started seeing Centaurs a lot in Deep Space Nine. The Shikar is the 25th century equivalent, and uh, so we are uh, we are embarking on a mission to aid its namesake, the Pathfinder of the Shikar class. And uh, we are going to meet them here in the Celeste system. And I should make that lag. Oh, I must, I must, I must have tagged the U button by mistake. Uh, let's see. In progress. Where is war? Is good for business. War. War is good for business. Make that primary. Enter Celeste Nebula. Nebula. Celeste. A binary star system with seven planets. The Celeste system is the home of Starbase 114. Commander Cleveland has been tasked with fighting the influence of the Orion Syndicate in the Celeste sector. The strain of the investigation, as well as the normal duties of supplying ships on their way to the neutral zone, are taking their toll on the crew. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a Nova class over there. Introduced in uh, Star Trek Voyager in the episode Equinox, where it was kind of a one-scene wonder. Um, well, not really one scene, but one episode wonder, but you get what I mean. Enter Celis. Imagine a ship like the Defiant, but science -ier. There, There's your Nova. 
That's what the Nova is. It, it, it's a specialized science ship, although it's mentioned in the in Voyager that it's only good, that it's only supposed to be doing like planetary survey missions and such. Like, uh, for example, Galaxy Class Starship discovers a new planet. A Nova Class ship goes there as a sort of mobile research post to check it out. That's kind of what they are made for, I assume. Sensor so one sip on the system, Captain. It's the USS Shikar. Captain, the Shikar is reporting intermittent, intermittent failures of its starboard power coupling. Captain Tavana reports that they have power for life support and weapons if needed, but that engines are offline. The Shikar was assisting a team of scientists who are taking readings of the anomalies in this system. Captain Tavana has requested that we take the scientists on board and help them complete their task. This will give the Shikar's crew time to finish its repairs. And uh, there's the Shikar, and here's a random uh, Dilly Bob, whatever the hell it is. Our scans have revealed that one of the plasma conversion sensors in the EPS conduits leading to the starboard power coupling is malfunctioning. That would cause the intermittent failures the Shikar is experiencing. We are sending this information over to the Shikar's engineering team. It should cut down on the time needed for repairs. Ah, I lended a helping scan. All right. Scan the asteroid anomalies. I'm guessing it's that giant donut over there looks fairly anomalous, so let's go check it out first. This is the reason the music gets on my nerves, this song right here. It plays const it'll play constantly in places where it's pretty inappropriate. We've entered a nebula, Captain. There are pockets of gas here that would make using full impulse unsafe. <laughs> I hope you're not going to try and attack me, because I'm not even going to worry about you. You're going to get yourself killed before you ever shoot at me. Anomaly scanned. Alright. I'm guessing that other bright white thing was an anomaly as well, so let's go check that one out. I suppose I should ask if they need help, because I'm Starfleet and I'm a good guy, so... Oh, look, that's a donut, too. Oh. Well, he's dead. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, Nebula. Autonomous regeneration sequencer. <laughs> Do your worst, Nebula. Okay, this is boring. And the music is not helping. Please stop music. There's nothing going on. Oh, no come back. I hate this music. <laughs> I hate this song. There's nothing going on. It sounds ridiculous when nothing's going on. Oh, you're dead. Vendor the Nebula, sir. And our engines are being affected. And I recommend we do not use full impulse. You are so fucked. How have you survived that long? Okay. So that's two. Okay, are these recognizable? Let's see. Uno, dos, tres. There we go. I'm guessing it's you over there. You look fairly anomalous. Like a big clump of something with something else. Looks like a giant blueberry. Come on! Let me go. Ooh! Oh, that music's gone. Oh, yes. 
tell me you're not going in there. A little common sense, finally. Entering one of the nebulas now, Captain. So the nebula is hindering our sensor, so we'll have limited ability to detect other ships. It, will also, it is also unsafe for us to use full impulse in this area. Recommend we proceed with caution. I remember uh, these guys aren't shooting at me at all. Might be because I'm so high level. Fuck them. Okay, and within spitting distance of the rock, it's not doing anything. Captain, the scientific team has completed its survey. They request that we take them to Starbase 114. There's a ship waiting for them there. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of feedback through this microphone. Let's see. Should I... Not now. I don't like the look of all this gathering of Orion forces. I'm just going to take them out. Alright. That'll make it easier. The shikar is over there, and it's trying to repair itself, and I just, I just... I have a bad feeling about leaving all these guys here. Target's shield have failed. Torpedo! I'm pretty sure they're supposed uh, they attack you on sight, normally. It's probably because I'm Vice Admiral level that they're not screwing with me, and really, I can't really blame them. Enemies in the various deep space encounters will tend to ignore you if you're way, way higher level than they are. That one raider fighter had the good sense to book it. You have a you have a brain. You may live today. All right. So I can't use full impulse in this nebula, but I can just warp out of here. How does that make sense? Oh, yeah. <sighs> nice high-tech new look for the Starfleet space stations. We haven't really seen much of them. Well, we have seen them, but they kind of never really looked more... They kind of always looked like the office complex from Motion Picture, or more, or more closely, the uh, regular one complex from Wrath of Khan. As they, they kind of always resembled that. And let, you know, they never really scream, this is a Federation star base, like this sort of place does. Wow, this close to the system's binary stars, those solar panels must get them a shit ton of power. Fraser. Fishy's hope!
Captain, we are in range of Starbase 114. The scientists are waiting in transporter room 1. We can transport them on your command. I'm Commander Cleveland. I run ops here at Starbase 114. Thank you for helping the science team with their surveys. The USS Archer is waiting to take them to their next destination. No, it's not. Now that you're here, maybe you could assist me. My inventory show that three canisters of chemocyte are missing from the cargo bays. Highly refined chemocyte can be used as to create explosives or massive power, so it is imperative that it be found right away. We're short-staffed because of the war with the Klingons, and I need help. Please send an away team to the cargo bays to find out what happened. Alright, take the hazard team with me. Now, I was playing through this earlier with a friend, uh, David JGB00, and... It kind of, like, playing through this, I kind of sort of realized why... I'm in a galaxy-class starship. Why do I need to scan the cargo bays in person? I have some of the most sophisticated sensors ever invented on my ship. I have a tomograph tomographic imaging scanner that I can use to investigate bullshit subspace anomalies in anti-time. Why can't I figure out what is going on? This guy becomes important later. And there's an anomalous meet reading right here. Anomalous meeting. Yes. This man and Gimli meeting face to face here. That's quite anomalous. Um, but, uh... It doesn't really look very ops-ish, does it? It's kind of a room with control panels in it. Although I gotta say, gotta say, you know, why not? Why not the Galaxy class uh, helm controls here? Even if you can't fly anywhere, I bet people just sort of sit here. They just sort of sit in the console and go pum 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 all the day. And again, another usable chair. Pretty sure it's because it's the same model that's used in the uh, Galaxy class cap, uh, Galaxy cap class bridge. Yeah. And, uh, it's, it's basically, I'm pretty sure it's not, it's not instance specific, it's model specific, so. Like, this model, like, this model has some, has a script attached to it that says you can interact with this model whenever you see it. Pretty sure that's it. And not, you know, some specific interact script. No, the chair. So, yeah. He's not sitting he's not sitting in the captain's chair pose. Let's see. Let's see if I can uh sit in this in the captain's chair pose. No. Let's get in here. Let's get in this. Get in the chair. There we go. So yeah, you got to I I I don't want to sit in there like with my hand like with my hands down in my lap. No. I want to sit in there like a f effing captain, you know. It's and I'm clipping through the floor. And that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Um, even face palming. Oh, let's go talk to this guy. Oh, you got a scar over your eye. You've seen some shit, Commander Cleveland. What are you supposed to be? Are you supposed to be a Romulan, or are you supposed to be a Vulcan? Your name is Cleveland. I don't see any rank on that uniform, son. Like, you could be the janitor for all I know. Oh god, text. Welcome to Starbase 114. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Where are the cargo bays? The trouble if behind me will take you directly to the cargo bays. I'll take you anywhere else, because there's no other way out. But do, you all, all, do all of you guys just sleep here? I'm pretty sure they don't sleep here. What can you tell me about chemocyte? Chemocyte is a multiphasic isotope of a radiolytic compound. It has a variety of uses in technology and research depending on how refined it is. The purest chemocyte, like what we were storing here, can be used to create weapons. Because of the danger, the use and transport of chemocyte is strictly regulated in the Federation. Smugglers can sell even a small amount for several bars of gold-pressed latinum. Did you see anything suspicious? We have cargo ships and civilian traders in and out of here all the time. The Federation will offer help to anyone who asks. 
Come to think of it, though, there was a Ferengi hanging around the turbo lifts earlier. I don't think he was clear for access to the cargo bays. Eight of eight's trouble is connecting to the internet. Yeah, fucking triple. I knew I knew the Borg were evil, but god damn it, they assimilated a triple and they made it run on America Online, those bastards. Where is Starbase security? We have a few people on security, but anyone who can hold a hyperspanner has been reassigned to repair teams. We need to get as many ships repaired and back on the front lines of the war as possible. If the Klingons sense we're having trouble, they'll mass for an attack. I've heard they're already planning an assault on a Starbase. That being Starbase 12, and the Laurentian system, and every other one they're attacking. How can I help? If I were you, I'd start by checking the cargo base for clues. The thief must have left some sign of his crime behind. Alrighty. Alright, buddy. I'll check it out, even though you should probably be doing it. I'm pretty sure you have a first officer, don't you? Or are you the first officer? <laughs> 